Jason. The vice president. Hey guys, how are you? Good. Uh, I just I just wanted to check out my future plane, but I also wanted to go say hello to the vice president and ask her why Kamala Harris refuses. Why does she refuse to answer questions from the media? And I also thought that the press gaggle following her might get a little lonely. All right, that was J.D. Vance trying very hard to make something happen and failing to do so. Vance and Harris both had rallies in Wisconsin on Wednesday, and both candidates' planes landed on the same tarmac. So Vance had this bright idea. He gathered his entourage and his security detail and walked over, seemingly to confront the vice president on Air Force Two. But unfortunately for Vance and what his 200 supporters, Harris wasn't there to meet him. So. He talked to reporters instead. Here's more. I at least have enough respect for you all and for the American people you report to to come and talk to you. And again, I really can't believe she's been the presumptive nominee for 17 days and she hasn't taken a real question from reporters. Glad to be here in Wisconsin actually trying to persuade people to vote for us as opposed to just giving another scripted speech. Yeah, there was another line that he said about like reading off of a teleprompter from a basement. I. I don't know. Hey, don't scroll away. Dit, dit, dit. Come back, come back. Because before the video continues, we just want to urge you to lend your support to TYT. You power our honest reporting. You do it at tyt.com slash team and we love you for it. Jenk, before we go on, two things. They're harping on her for dodging reporters, but she's been on a campaign tour. Her campaign schedule is publicly available. We know where she is and what she's doing. She's talking to the people and she's been nonstop campaigning since Joe Biden dropped out of the race not even three weeks ago. And two, why do Republicans suddenly care about the media and reporters? I thought they were all fake news. Besides, it's a bad argument for Vance to bring up because Trump himself can't even answer questions from reporters or constituents when he tries to. Yeah, so first of all, uh, JD Vance now has a reputation of being creepy and weird. Mm -hmm. When you have that reputation walking up to the vice president's plane, in essence going, Come out, come out wherever you are. Not the best way to go. Okay. <laughs> they got kind of doubled down on that creepy, weird reputation. Um, but I will say, I, I do think Kamala Harris should do more interviews. Uh, so I uh, I don't think that this is necessarily the best way to, to deliver that message. Uh, and I hear you, yes. You're right. She's done a ton of, it's not like she's like Joe Biden hiding in the basement. No, she's done <laughs> tons of rallies. She's out there. Uh, and. And she's, by the way, also in the middle of uh, a lot of different people who are asking her questions, etc. In fact, uh, people from the uncommitted uh, vote in, in Michigan that want to uh, change our policy on Israel got a chance to, to meet her and talk to her for just a brief moment. But at least they did because she's out there in the real world. So she, she's not a hermit, she's not hiding, uh, but at the same time, uh, you know, I would encourage her to do more interviews and press conferences. Look, I'm in the camp of, there is no such thing as enough press. Uh, always, if you're running for an office, always get as much press as humanly possible. Uh, I, I don't think it hurts you, it helps you. Even if you have one or two missteps, it's okay, you overwhelm it with a lot more press. Uh, but you made a great point though about fake news. Uh, he comes over, why are you even talking to them? I thought they, everything they said was fake. And why should she talk to them if everything they report is fake? So of course they don't actually think it's fake news. It's a stupid talking point line whenever there's a story that hurts them and is totally true. Yeah, I think it's just a bad line of attack to pretend she's hiding in a basement and avoiding reporters when she she's everywhere. She's everywhere right now. But you're spot on. You know, it's not good for him to act creepy when everybody is calling him creepy right now. And the attempted and failed stunt is in fact backfiring on him right now. And he's being called out all over social media for being a weird stalker and for his weird stalker behavior. But someone else is making headlines surrounding this whole incident and that's Trump's spokesperson, Stephen Chung. And he responded to JD's tweet about you know his, his stint on the tarmac. And he had this to say about Air Force Two. He said, make sure Air Force Two is deep cleaned because Lord only knows what Kamala Harris and her team have done on there. The smell alone on that plane must be crazy. Uh, before we talk about that, I just want to show you all the response from Kamala HQ. 
And now I want to sit back and relax and enjoy my evening. When all of a sudden, I hear this agitating, grating voice. That was audio of Abby Lee Miller from the show Dance Moms. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that, but it was taken from a scene when a rival dance teacher showed up uninvited and unwelcome to Abby's recital. So it's pretty fitting. But this is a thing that Republicans love to do. They won't say the thing that they actually want to say explicitly. So they can have plausible deniability whenever you ask them about it later. But they know what they're implying whenever they say certain things and they know that people will pick up on the message. Chung didn't specify exactly what he was referring to with his tweet when he was talking about the smell on the plane. But people are taking it to have been a racist comment about her Indian and or black Jamaican heritage. Maybe he's talking about Indian food, maybe he's talking about cannabis. Chung himself, by the way, is Chinese American. Jenk, what do you think about Steve Chung's comments? Was it racism or something else entirely? I'll admit that I didn't initially get racism from this, but I can see the point that people are making. Uh, honestly, it's so weird. I, I literally have no idea what he's talking about. Uh, these guys, like, like a bad smell, why? Well, to smell what? I mean, look, that's the problem with their mindset. I can think of a lot of critique of Kamala Harris, and I've done a lot of critique of Kamala Harris on this show. Her smelling bad would have never crossed my mind in a million years. She looks like a perfectly lovely person. Why would she smell bad? I just don't get it at all. I don't know if it's racial. I don't know if it's food. I don't. Know, and people have now they have all there's all these crazy theories on what the hell he could have meant. Don't worry about what this lunatic might have meant. I mean, he's more likely to throw his hat at you than make sense. So, I mean, it's, this guy's just an odd job. Yeah, and you know who does smell bad? Who everyone says smells bad is Donald Trump. Do you remember all of? The stories that were coming out when he was sitting in trial in New York City, everybody was saying that he's he's hard to sit next to. That's how bad he smells. Yeah, maybe it's strike back for that, but boy, did that miss the target. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't work. Yeah. yeah, like if you said it about other politicians, like Fetterman, I could see. Uh, <laughs> I just picked that one out of a hat. Uh, but Kamala Harris, that's so weird. A yeah, bunch she, of psychos on that side. They're not even trying to make sense. Yeah, yeah, I think it, it's all very telling the attacks that they choose to go after people for because a lot of the attacks that we're seeing coming out now, especially since Walt has been announced as the vice presidential pick, it's very telling as far as what they value, right? They're saying things like Walls isn't good because he he was a teacher and he was a veteran kind of, but not really even though he's more of a veteran than either Vance or Donald Trump. So every time they make these attacks, people only look at the people who are making the attacks and saying, but you also are this and you are not that and all these things. And whenever they attack things like uh, the tampons with uh, Tim Walls in the schools, it's like, why Why is that a bad thing? Now you have to say that that's a bad thing. You have to say that you don't think it's a good thing for girls to have access to hygienic care in schools. You have to say that you don't like that kids have lunches in schools, all these things. So they're really digging themselves in a hole. Hey, thanks for watching that video. We really appreciate it, guys. And we appreciate it if you become members because that allows us to be independent, honest, progressive, all the things that you don't get from corporate media. And all of that is because of you guys. Hit the join button below and become one of us, become a young Turk.